Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. You may have heard of grid work, but what is it really? Well, it's some people, I, I like to think of it as different than the matrix. In fact, the word matrix conjures up a lot of negativity for a lot of people. They're like, ooh, the matrix. There is, um, there's like a grid that we plug into, okay? It supported you. Now, here's the thing. Twin flames are a large part of the support system, even as you are physical beings. Yes, you're human beings, but you're also a lot more magical than that. So for people that have had their activation, you're aware of this. But what if you're not sure of what to do? So it kind of runs through your body. It's connected at certain parts of your body. It's intended to support you and be supportive in return. It's intended to be unplugged from. So when we talk about the old paradigm, there's a lot of things in the old paradigm that you need to unplug from. Essentially, the third dimension is we once knew it in terms of being just survival or what we think of as caveman days. It's gone. Okay, even if we can look at like tribes around the world and be like, you know what, they're still living like that. You know what, they may not be activated either. And you have to worry about you. I have to tell you this, for people that really, you know, they're like, ta-da, I'm going to go out and like, you're not going to save the world until you save yourself. Okay, that takes doing your grid work. Grid work is how I define that you are plugging into a much higher level of the support system you need for your dream time, for your messaging, for your clairvoyance, for your health, for your mental well-being, for your family's well-being. How many of you out there are parents? Do you worry for your children? Do you worry about their mental health? Do you worry about if they're going to be attacked at a school? Do you worry about the bullying? I mean, there's a lot of crap coming out of people. It comes out of their minds and it is welling up from the depths, okay? And don't think that we've hit bottom, okay? There may be more stuff to scrape out. So I want you to be able to rise above it. You're going to have to do it through your twin flame body, plus there's two of you. So whether or not you think you're a single parent, and like there's no other parent there to help you. You have your twin flame. Your twin flame is the other parent. That baby didn't get created without the other parent's energy being there. Now, as we know, everyone has their ancestry, right? You could have a real mixed ancestry. You could be adopted and not know what your ancestry was. But stuff is coming out of the woodwork anyway. It is coming from a deep well. And it is coming to the surface for people to deal with it. How about if you didn't just have to cope and deal with it and drink and drug and fight and, you know, get irritated and annoyed and then get your period and then have more crap and then a bill comes. What if you had a way to plug in higher where it feels like the universe is supporting you and not you out there supporting everything else feeling like it's draining the crap out of you? I mean, let's be real about this. At some point I realized, you know what? Lovers need to make love, right? But if lovers are dragged down with all the things of the world and not supported, how are they going to make the love that literally is supporting life as we know it, our families, our children? How do our children thrive? How do they eliminate ancestral illness, chronic illness? things that run in the family. I mean, after all, we're kind of like the living bridge between the metal, medical and the metaphysical, okay? A lot has been learned, but a lot falls under superstition and curses and like, you got to unplug from that. You got to unplug from the mentalities. You got to unplug from the negativity, but you also have to plug in higher. So real up-leveling of your life isn't just saying like, well, up-level. It, it, you have to take the actions, okay? Action get, eliminates anxiety. If you take action, you will be the beneficiary 
of your higher self meeting you halfway. That's something that's not understood. People sit there and they beg their guides and they beg their angels and they're begging some other being like Buddha or Jesus or Shiva. And you got to take actions. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So what are those actions to take? Well, first of all, one really good thing is decide and stick to your decision and devote yourself to the actual thing that is the reason you are awakened to begin with, love. There's a lot of people losing sight of this, that you're intended to be supportive so that you could simply be in love and have your life be easy and not have it be a constant struggle or a series of being saddled with people that you're starting to wonder who these people are and like if they're on their journey, if you should just like, you know, fish or cut bait, you know, do you just let them go or can they be elevated to a level where, you know, if you're here, you're kind of like, boop, you're kind of getting them a little closer, which makes it amenable for them to have their own awakenings, their own activations. You are leading the pack usually and your family, you are the hub. I don't care if you're the black sheep of your family like I am. I'm going to tell you this. Sometimes you're the leader, okay? Time to start leading, energetically leading, okay? It's an energetic leading with our light bodies, okay? And it starts with you. Nothing can happen unless you participate in this. Nothing can happen unless you take the proper actions. Now, I know that some people, they like to think like a grid is like, you know, it's a wooden board and they're just going to put some things on there. No, you actually have to take your body sometimes to places and it's your physical human body because it works through you. So I want to give you an example. When my son, and this has to do with school shootings, okay, and this kind of chilled me to the bone of how this worked. My son was going to change schools. He was going to go from middle school to high school. And I was guided to literally unplug the energy from the middle school and plug it into the new school. Okay. I had to do this through my body and I had to do it by going to places. And there's some other things that I did that I'll explain in my class. But what happened? Well, in middle school, he and a couple of friends were playing at the park and I had gone to the pharmacy and then I came back and there was a bandage wrapper on the counter. And I, I heard the boys in the basement and I kind of jokingly said, okay, who got wounded? And my son yells back, Sam got shot. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, and you think, do we live in that area? You know, let me tell you something. People are losing their minds everywhere. The mental stability is shaking up because it's time to get to the new level. It's time for us to help others to get to the new level. So as it turned out, some boy was there. He had a BB gun, same age, same grade level. And, you know, it nicked this boy. Luckily, it didn't get in his eye. He used a BB gun, but it was still getting shot, right? And I'm sitting there going, what the hell? And I'm insisting, like, we got to call your mom and dad. And he was like, no, 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 no. Well, I'm sorry. I went to the school and told another adult. And I, I did trust this man because he used to work at Boys Town. And he said, I'll take care of it. And he did. Okay, that boy was not in trouble, but let's say people were alerted to this, okay? And I wanted that boy to get help because at a young age, they don't always realize that this is not a game. This is real. This is real blood, okay? Now, as I was guided to plug into the high school, something else happened in the summer right before freshman year. And I had gone there, and of course my prayers are that there not be any school shootings, right? Not any, not for anyone. Like this shouldn't be normal. 
My higher self showed me a dream like eight years ago of like a station wagon being packed with all the guns. Like we got to put the guns away and get rid of them. But how do we do this? It's a real hard thing. And the United States is not the only one. I mean, they're everywhere, every country. Other people in other countries, they hunt, they have things, you know. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're trained or not trained. I mean, that is... It's it's not the gun that kills people. It's their mental stability that's killing them. And this is what we have to work with. So what do I want to do here, right? So I do my grid work, which involved actually going to the high school physically at the building. And I did what I was guided to do. Now, there's a process you have to do with this. You have to be completely empty because it has to work through you. So it involved a fast, okay? That's something that people aren't aware of. If it's working and traveling through your body and you are the open vessel for that love energy to come in, you better learn how to fast properly, okay? So that you keep yourself stable. You don't feel all wiggy up here or shaky or, you know, deprived, dehydrated, et cetera. So it involved that, and I instruct people how to do that in my book called Inner Healing. So what happened was uh, there was a boy, he, he was going to be an incoming freshman too. Parents are in Europe, and he finds the gun in their house, a Glock. And he's holding it up on Snapchat saying, look what I'm bringing to the first day of class. Well, those social medias like close it off after 24 hours. Luckily, someone saw it, alerted the police. They went to the house. The parents are in Europe. And guess what? While it was a crisis, it was a diminished crisis. You may not know, and I like to think that my grid work helped with that. Did it completely eliminate the threat? No. But I was guided to do it, and you better well damn believe I did it. Because I believe in safety. I believe people should stop being bullied. I believe that love is love. I believe that love, higher love, okay, not just brotherly love, because brotherly love ain't going to cut it. Bringing in the much higher love, which actually transforms the atmosphere, the vibration of the place. Even if people are angry that they're not doing that, that somehow the crisis, it veered off. I got it off the timeline where something worse could have happened. Okay, now whether or not that kid intended it, they're immature. They're socially immature. They're emotionally immature. They're mentally immature. Their brains are still developing till they're 25 years old. Now, this is an important thing because there's a lot of people, and I know people watch videos and you're not learning how to do this and it's really time to learn, okay? I'm guided to teach the things that really are intended to support your life. Here's the next thing. It will change from season to season. We all have life cycles. We all have life events, a birth, a death, a graduation, a new house, a new career, a new job. These are life-changing events. And you want to be able to unplug and plug in. And as I say, kiss it. Keep it simple and sweet. Use the 5D love that you're intended to through your body that sweetens your life for you. So please look at the links below for my books, my sessions, and the workshop that I'm going to have on this. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day, okay?